Hi. Um, the rest of my family is outside. But I got a really, really bad sunburn this morning. So that means that I am in here making videos. And I could not get the camera to balance on anything. So I'm just going to lay down and talk to it like this. Because it refuses to balance anywhere but this table. <laughs> Um, this is the first video of the series that I mentioned in my last video that I released. And if you haven't seen that, you should probably go watch it because it would explain what this is. Um, but I wanted to start it by talking about grief. But that's a really broad subject. <laughs> so I'm going to speak from my experience because that's just all I know about. And... As someone who's lost a person to suicide, one of the first things that you generally would deal with is guilt. A lot of people feel really guilty after someone they love commits suicide. Like, I didn't, I had no idea that that was something that my dad would do. So it wasn't really... I knew that it wasn't my fault, but I even felt some of that guilt because he texted me right before he died, and if I, like, I wasn't awake, so if I had been awake, maybe I could have done something, and I spent forever agonizing about it, but really what you need to understand in the end, no matter how the person that you love died, like, they made their own decisions, and it was not your fault. You didn't intend for it to happen unless you like physically killed them yourself. It's not because of you. And I don't really know how else to help that. But it's just kind of something you learn as you as you go through your process and like think about it more often. So that's all I have to say about that. Hopefully I'll make some, like, more fun videos once I get some other ideas started. But, like, especially once I get home, I'll have more access to things to make videos with. And I'll have something to actually set my camera on. And we'll start doing more fun stuff when I get back. So, we'll see you later.